Um, hi, hey, hey, my, hey, my friends, welcome. We're going to be doing another redstone challenge, all right? Today we shall make the best redstone something, all right? The best, uh, best redstone blank. You know the the little the little the most yeah, creative you, redstone. You, you know blank. what I mean. You know you know what I mean. All right. So um, for instance, see who can make the most creative and innovative redstone piston door, like that. Yeah. Basically. All right. So for instance, um, we we shall do that. Um, uh, we will have two uh normal rounds, and then we have we will have a final hard round. All right. It's going to be difficult. The final one, and um. Also, also, um, ha enjoy everybody. Free redstone, free redstone for all my fans. Uh, use some dirt. I didn't have any diamonds on hand, so I'm just gonna have to give you some dirt. That's 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 how it goes these days. All right, you're just gonna have to take it, and you have no choice. Cool. Time starts now.
Um, Let, let's go to your side first. All right. Interesting. I check. Pretty right, easy check, to Joe Jim. Joe Jim. All right. Check. Okay. Now you try a stone button. A stone button. Specifically yes. a stone button. Well, it can be a wooden button if you want. I haven't tested a wooden button. Okay. Wooden button go. Nothing. Stone button go. It works. No, wait. Wait. Stone no, button no. Again. No. It doesn't work that way, actually. The sec only the second time when you press it, it actually works. Check. Wait, what? Only the second time you press it, it works. Look. It doesn't work now, but now it does. To make it look like nothing's there, nothing's working. Oh, I see what you did. I see what you did. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how you explain this thing. What? <laughs> what is this? It's unique. It's creative. Right. Okay. Okay. You press this. You press this button. Then you press this button again. Then you press this button again. Then you press this button again. This is objectively the most tedious redstone door I've ever seen in my life. Yes. And you press this button. How do you, how do you get inside of it? Okay, we need to make a, a wall place your way. Yes, thank you. Look, you just squat. We make a elytra launcher. Cool, so I decided to do a Q&A because these time lapses get quite long. I don't want to just plug in music with all these time lapses. It might get kind of boring. And also, I just decided I wanted to like get to know you guys and you guys get to know me, that kind of stuff. Um, there's a, a question from a person named I Don't Know. Uh, he's got a weird nickname in the server. Uh, he said, do you say lol, but you didn't actually lol? Um, it's a little hard to understand in that question. I'm going to break it down. Basically, when you say lol on a Discord server, 98% of the time, at least, you don't actually laugh. And lol means laugh out loud. So, um, yes, I, I hardly ever laugh out loud when I actually say lol in a Discord server. Um, I can't think of any times off the top of my head that I actually laughed in a Discord server, but I know there were like one or two. There is a question from an amazing YouTuber, the Mr. Epic. Thank you so much for the question. And the link is in the description for his channel. Thoughts on a death band server. Basically, a death band server is where you, when you die, you get banned for ever, for forever. Or for a specific amount of time. Um, I actually know somebody who ran a death band server. It's not a stable way to run a server because the more people die, the less people on the server, the less people on the server, the less people who want to be on the server. It just um, becomes a server that is eventually dead. Um, that's, that's the issue with death band servers. I really wish it wasn't like that but it just doesn't work out properly. It's an amazing idea. I love the idea, but yeah, it just doesn't work out properly.
let's go to mine first. Okay. So let me show you. Right, so uh, I have no elytra on. You can see it, right? Walk in here. Oh, okay, so it's the same design as mine, just with an equipment station. Nice. Yeah, it, it equips you with an... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 So you try it, all right? Okay. Be you have to hold the first slot, all right? The first slot. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get it. And then you have one firework rocket. Yeah, I give you one firework rocket, right? So you can head to your destination. Oh, I, still have, to, I have to equip the Elytra. The Elytra. Um, no, 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 it puts the Elytra in your inventory. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. look. It's just you're wearing two now. I don't know why. Alright, uh, okay. Oh, obviously, okay, never mind, I'm, I'm horrible with Elytras. Uh, <laughs> okay, now, now let's check mine. Check me a couple of tries before, oh, yours is pretty compact. Very, watch out. That's unique. It's All not right. unique whatsoever. Okay, wait. Works perfectly fine. Alright. Uh, here's the concept I was going for, and if anybody in the comments can put me a world download, whatever, how they did it, I've given up. I'll, uh... Don't do that. Okay, and then I, um, follow me into the nether. Wait, uh... So the concept back here was... <laughs> uh, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> no! <laughs> Your rocket thing is tedious. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wait, okay. wait, I can't move, bro. Why? Uh what the heck? Oh. Okay. So it transports you into this, okay? Closes the portal. Yeah. Opens the portal again, which automatically transports you to the place at the top, okay? And then yeah. it pushes you off the top, and then you fly. That was my idea. If anybody yeah. can figure out how to get that working, my brain is sore. <laughs> um... Ethan, an absolute champion, send me 10 whole questions. I'm going to be answering them real quick. What inspired you to start up your YouTube channel? It was so long ago that I was that I had this idea that I have absolutely no idea what inspired me. Um, at the moment, I really, really enjoy it. I think at the time I thought I'd really enjoy it. Um, I had ideas that I wanted to share with the world and this is my way of doing that um, when will I do a setup tour uh, I'm actually thinking of doing a video soon where I mess around with computer parts um, so that's gonna be like a partial setup tour but for a full setup tour I'm going to be waiting until I get 300 uh, subscribers so subscribe to see that one and Windows versus Mac I'm going to say Windows is the short answer. If you stay for a while, you'll hear the long answer after I get through all 10 questions because this is a, a longer one. What is my favorite color? My favorite color, I don't have a favorite color specifically, but I have a favorite color scheme. My favorite color scheme is red and black. Uh, I don't know why. It just seems gamery. I did I get a red and black color scheme for my home screen a while ago. Um, yeah. I just really like that color screen. Who is my favorite YouTuber? Um, my favorite Minecraft YouTuber is definitely Mumbo Jumbo, by like easily. Um, I really like Oz Talks Hardware. He is an amazing YouTuber. He puts out like really quality content. Um, the only issue is that he only puts up videos like every now and then. It takes a while because his co his content is so good that it takes him that long to edit and make the video. Um, 
when and why did I start playing Minecraft? I started forever ago, like I don't even remember when. Uh, my friend actually got me into Minecraft and then I wasn't able to get it. And then later on, I got it on my iPad, on my iPad 1. Um, and the win is, I don't precisely remember, but I remember that it was at the time when Java, um, when Java features were ahead of Bedrock features. So when you were on Bedrock, you only had features from long ago. Um, and I played before Villages and Dispensers came out on Bedrock. Um, what food do I enjoy eating? This is an interesting one because it's probably mostly unhealthy foods and desserts and that. But uh, I have like a gluten-free waffle thing that I make for myself every now and then. I enjoy eating that with a ton of peanut butter. And then also obviously the obvious stuff like pizza, ice cream, that kind of stuff, chocolate. I love chocolate. Um, what I use to edit videos and thumbnails, After Effects, Premiere Pro, Photoshop. Um, I'm, I'm learning a bit of Blender at the moment, but it, I re haven't really needed to use it yet. Um, after that, it's, do you enjoy making content? Yes, I actually love making content. Um, this is one of those things where I, I would actually do this if, if nobody watched these videos. If I got zero views on all of these videos, I would still make these videos because I really, really enjoy doing it. And I really, really enjoy getting the experience that it gives me and all of that. What plans do I have for my channel in the future? Well, um, I've got quite a few plans for the channel. I do want to carry on making mainly Minecraft uh, videos, but I've got a series upcoming that I'm planning on. Uh, that's called Minecraft Player Plays, where basically I play games from a Minecraft player's perspective. Um, and I already have recorded one of the videos. It's just up to editing now and all of that. I've got actually a backlog of videos. So when you guys request a video, just because it hasn't come out within the week, it doesn't mean it's not coming out. I've got a backlog um, so that if I ever can't record or whatever, then I can just send out another video. And then um, the Redstone Wars um, series, which is, going, which is what you're watching right now. Um, Redstone Explained is also one that I'm planning on doing a lot more of. I'm, start, I'm planning on starting the Sky Wars, um, the Sky Wars series after this, and maybe even getting into an SMP soon. I'm not too sure. So to answer the question about uh, Mac versus Windows uh, to its full extent, um, the reasons behind me liking Windows more is because I'm a tinkerer. Um, it doesn't matter that much for me if everything works perfectly fine the first time. I'd rather be able to, you know, like mess around with internals, change the RAM. Have to, well, having to troubleshoot things is sometimes annoying, but it's fun. Um, that all of that kind of stuff you can't get on. You can't you can't do that on a Mac. Um, also, the lack of a task manager. Uh, I can easily move to Linux. I can easily move anywhere other than Mac, because Mac specifically just doesn't have a task manager. Um, it's kind of annoying specifically. That's the only, that's one of the only reasons. Um, I would not be able to live without a task manager. Again, because I'm a tinkerer. The other reason is I'm used to the OS. Um, I'm used to being able to do whatever, what you can do on uh, Microsoft. Like, I don't wanna have to re relearn the whole OS. Um, it just seems simpler for me with, I already know the, you know, the, the hot keys and that kind of stuff. Are they called hot keys? But yeah, I know. Also, I just know all of the software that works on Windows. I, Mac, relearning Mac doesn't seem, um, important for me. And I, I'm a tinkerer. Basically, that's that. That's what it boils down to. Relearning Mac is too much work for what I'm going to be getting out of it, and I'm a tinkerer. Okay, so uh, I wasn't expecting this to happen, 
Um, let me quickly explain how this works so you understand what what just happened here. Um, over here, these observers are connecting to each other to make a clock. Um, if we just wait a bit, I'll show you why this is an issue. Here's the problem. Okay, so when I, put, when I put that down, the observer detects that I put a block down. It goes around the whole circle, and eventually it's gonna come back. It's gonna switch that, lamp to, that lamp on, it's gonna switch that lamp off. That's two, um, that's two things for the observer to detect. That observer is gonna detect two pulses, it's gonna send it around. It's gonna put three pulses, uh, four pulses, send it around. Eight pulses, send it around. The whole time it's gonna carry on doing this. And it's going to become so laggy that the game will eventually crash. I'll show you now the crash now. Um, so I'm, I'm so annoyed about this because I didn't see it when it was coming. The issue is in 1.16, the most laggy items in the game are arrows with potion effects. And these dispensers are full to the brim with arrow, uh, arrows of arming two i think it is yeah arming two um the issue with this is now you see now it's starting to lag a lot now um the issue with this is that there's particles and it's going through lava so then there's that lava the lava particle well the fire particles on the arrow now i'm getting these issues because of a whole bunch of different things here but basically it keeps sending those things through i try to kill all of the entities but it just became so fast that i couldn't do anything about it there um and eventually the game ends up crashing and i was going to do an explanation of all of these devices but i can't now because the redstone world is now bricked i can't open the redstone world as soon as i do it the whole game crashes yeah and crash yeah i guess that's the end of the video sorry guys